So we are here at the Weston Verasa Napa in Napa, California for the 26th annual member summit of the Consortium for Service Innovation. Uh, we get together once a year and we talk about all the things we've worked on, on this, uh, over the past year uh, with regards to knowledge sharing, knowledge management, intelligence swarming, um, and predictive customer engagement. So there's about, a, I, I give or take, I'd say 120, 130 people uh, from all over the globe uh, at very different levels. There's individual practitioners whose only job is to do knowledge-centered service. Uh, there's vice presidents who run global support organizations. Um, there's people from marketing, from service, from sales. And as we started looking at Agile, there's an awful lot in common sort of philosophically and actually at a practical level between Agile and the work of the consortium. So my presentation was an attempt to say, if we were using Agile language rather than our own language to talk about what we're doing, what would that sound like? So today I presented on how machine learning can be used to drive customer success activities. So machine learning is an emerging field that's broad, it's huge. The services industries are underutilizing it to figure out how to get knowledge from your company into the hands of your customers to really make them successful. So what types of technologies can you bring to bear that say at massive scale, when I can't talk to every customer, in this new subscription world I need to get customers to value quickly, rapidly, you've got 90 days to get the hook. And how do you do that at massive scale? Machine learning gives us all these new capabilities to drive knowledge into the hands of the customer that allow them to be successful to get the value of why they're doing business with you. So it's really critical that we use these new technologies to help drive our entire industry forward, which at the end of the day is making our customers successful, which is what you know service organizations really are all about. I covered uh, our approach to swarming and the way that we want to make sure that we have the right people looking at the right problems when our customers bring them to us. So we covered um, the capabilities of AI and, and the practical use cases of it and so, you know, and how that ties with KCS. My goal tomorrow is to give the audience here a baseline understanding of machine learning and um, how AI actually works, right? I mean, so there's, there's no more magic, right? I, you leave here with a, a deep and practical understanding of AI and machine learning so you can actually go home and feel a lot smarter. Peter Drecker, one of our most favorite quoted authors, said a long time ago, we're all knowledge workers, and you can't compel to tell somebody what they know. They can't, they're not gonna confess it to you. Um, they typically volunteer for things they believe in and things they wanna do and be a part of. So the work of the Consortium for Service Innovation is largely um, offered under Creative Commons licenses, and it's uh, content that we create collectively with our members and it's published on serviceinnovation.org. So if people want to be part of the conversation, they should go check out that website and, and join us to do some of this uh, groundbreaking work.